We are also looking forward to a tour by a trio of brothers from North Carolina called the Three Heath Brothers. We have them scheduled for April 2021, but due to the border remaining closed, we'll probably need to reschedule that tour to April 2022. The COVID pandemic has certainly taken a toll on our nation, our world, and on each of us as individuals. In our final segment of this report, we want to share with you how we have lived COVID-19. A. Devotions. Due to many of our activities being cancelled, it really allowed plenty of time for my plan to read through the Bible in 2020. I am using a chronological five-day-per-week reading schedule. We were blessed with a beautiful spring and summer, so that allowed me to spend many hours soaking in the beauty of God's Word on our deck. To keep our team connected, our national director scheduled the daily water cooler conference via Zoom. This informal 15-minute chat time has become a highlight for many of the One Hope Canada support team scattered across our country working from their home offices. It's a chance to check in, see how everyone is doing, and to pray for each other before going about our day's activities. There were many meetings as well, and all were moved to Zoom. Monthly meetings, quarterly meetings, as well as a couple of online conferences. One was a weekend where we were able to meet virtually with missionaries who serve on a 23-station radio network that carries the radio program Heart of the South. Another was our Ministry Resource Team annual meeting held in August. Each week involves putting together another two-hour radio program. It involves selecting a theme, choosing music from the more than 10,000 songs we have in the Heart of the South Music Library, voicing the program, and then putting it all together. The final step is sending the completed program to the 45 radio stations which carry it. In exchange for us providing the music program to stations, they allow us to air commercials about One Hope Canada. This is usually a full day of work and involves calling or emailing our camps to find out what activities or events are happening, scripting commercials, voicing commercials, producing the ads, and then sending the ads to the radio stations. Some stations that we are on are non-commercial, so they will air audio stories which we produce. These testimonials are a great joy to produce, but also take an incredible amount of work. It takes research, hearing stories of how people came to Christ through the ministries of One Hope Canada, scripting the stories, and then editing them to the point where they fit the 60-second time slot, recording the stories, producing the stories, getting the stories translated into French by Natalie's dad, and then sending the completed stories to stations across Canada as well as in the USA. Preaching. I love opportunities to preach. During COVID, churches were not meeting, but I had the privilege of being part of our home church's live stream video during the day of prayer for Camp Sunday held on May 31st. When churches finally reopened in June, I was ecstatic to be able to preach in person once again and I think I've preached about six or seven times since then. Counseling. Natalie has launched a counseling agency called Umbrella Tree Counseling that was launched last October. While it was a slow beginning, she now has a full slate of clients with many more reaching out to her for help. Due to the uncertainty of the COVID virus, she kept her office closed for the months of March till May. In the meantime, she retooled and became certified to counsel via telephone or online. This has allowed her to counsel people well outside of our community, including people serving in ministry hours away, and also those who serve with our mission. In the midst of the shutdown, we were able to maintain our sanity through developing some hobbies. I have developed a bit of a hobby of purchasing vehicles through auction sales, then fixing them up and selling them. Since COVID struck, I was able to do this with a tent trailer and two Ford Escapes. Currently, I'm looking to sell a bit of a beater, a 2005 Chevy Malibu Max. Exercise became immensely important during COVID, so we went for many walks and bike rides. We also took several road trips that allowed us to explore Manitoba beauty that we had not seen before. And then there were chickens. Early in the pandemic, when there was uncertainty of things such as toilet paper, we decided that a food supply would be helpful, so we purchased some chickens. These eight goofy creatures kept us amused and fed through the summer months. And then there was travel. While travel outside of Manitoba was discouraged, 
I visited our five Manitoba camps at least twice this summer and was encouraged and inspired by what God was doing at our ministry points. In autumn, we took a road trip to Quebec to spend time with Natalie's family, as well as visit a camp being offered to One Hope Canada. I also visited our two ministry points in Quebec, Camp Livingstone and Camp Des Îles. As I conclude, could I request your prayers? First of all, for the Facebook Live Concert. It's coming up next Sunday, November 8th. Please pray that many will tune in and respond with prayer and financial support. Pray for wisdom for ourselves during this very changing time, as well as for the leaders of One Hope Canada as we navigate this time of uncertainty and difficulty. Thank you for your support. May God richly bless you.